Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one we'll be going through how to use the platform Trading 2 on 2. So yeah, hang around and uh, let's see what we're getting to. Just another mention before we get started, there are other platforms available. So you've got Free Trade and another app which is fairly new called Stake. Uh, also in the US you have Webull and Robinhood I believe. Um, but for today we're going to just stick with Trading 2 on 2 because that's the platform I've been using and I think it's been going pretty well so far. Uh, cool, so let's uh, get started. So like I said, in this video we're going to be going through the platform Trading 2 on 2. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to buy and sell a stock and just going through all the different options throughout the menu. Um, so you can be clear and know what to do when you go through the app when you, when you, uh, when you download it. Cool, right, let's get stuck in. So we're jumping in now to Trading 2 on 2. As you can see the screen here, this is the loading screen, this is what you get when you when you download the app and you'll see this uh, screen here. So let's go ahead and sign up. Obviously I've already got an account, but I'm just doing this to kind of get you familiarised with the with the platform itself. So open account, uh, United Kingdom, yes. If obviously you do live somewhere else, then click that. Uh, United Kingdom again, first name. We will go for Joe Blogs. Not capital locks because I'm not allowed. Next, date of birth, 23rd of November, 2000, millennial. <laughs> okay, phone number, random words and letters. Hopefully that works. Yep, yeah, you are a tax resident of just one country. So the bottom one there is uh, more than one country. So if you've moved countries, and you click that, and then here you enter your national insurance number. Now this part will not let me pass unless I enter a valid one. Um, as you can see here, I'll go HY12212 until, yeah, so it just doesn't let me go past. So past, past this point, you can see the green bar at the top. Um, you're kind of almost towards the end of the administration anyway. Um, it just asks you a few more details about CFD trading, which is account contract for difference. Um, which is the kind of day trading aspect, which we won't be talking about much on this channel, just because it's not something I'm interested in. If you want to, you know, look that up, then look elsewhere. I'm afraid. But um, for now, we'll uh, yeah. You answer the answer the questions honestly. Um, CFD questions. It's kind of like how how many times have you traded them? If you traded them, if you want to trade them. But obviously, when I've done it, I've just clicked the lowest bracket because obviously I haven't traded it, so we won't go there. Um, and then once you've done that it will take you into the app, which we'll show you next. Okay, so here we've got the main menu here. We've got all the different um, selections you can go into, the, well, the menu options, not selections. Um, so let's have a look at them. Um, well, first we'll look at the top. So we've got the three different account modes. You've got CFD, Invest, and ISA. So CFD we briefly touched on earlier, which is basically day trading, which we don't want to touch because um, that's high risk. The, market is already 76% against you and I don't like those odds so I've chosen to go to the invest side of things as you can see at the top here um, so invest is basically a platform where you can invest in your favorite companies so Apple, um, Netflix, all that kind of thing and then ISA is the same thing but a tax-free version um, so you're investing in like Apple, um, Tesla etc um, some companies you can't get on there for some reason probably because of the taxes differences but the ISA is beneficial because you don't get taxed on anything you withdraw um, it's like a bank ISA but it's one that kind of grows if you obviously select the right thing do your due diligence etc um, so yeah that's that so before we get started into the menu we will just have a look at the watch list section so at the top here I've created my own watch list I've got my watch list electric vehicles eyes on which are the companies I'm just keeping my eyes on at the moment um, Airbnb being one of them, uh, Renewable Energy, Real Estate, UK Stocks. There's a few more that you can select that I've chosen to hide, so we'll just have a look at that top here. Uh, you've got Dividends, Popular, so on Popular you'll see companies like Neo, uh, Netflix, Tesla, Apple, all your main brands. Um, so, but obviously I don't really want that shown at the moment for me. Um, so there's a watch list, if you want to head over to Portfolio, this is where you'll see your holdings that you've got. So at the moment I'm only holding seven holdings, but that's that's my choice at the moment. We'll go more into strategy in the next next couple of videos. So when we're looking at buying a stock, we will obviously click onto the 
company of choice and then we can simply just go buy um, you can either do it in two different um, forms if you could buy by the share so you can buy I don't know two shares you can sometimes do point shares as you can see here uh, some companies only do a maximum amount of one per share um, so that's the number of shares and the other point is value so you can choose to put in the amount of money you want to put in instead so then it will as you can see there go to 1.81 shares which is the value of your investment so you can back out there and if you want to choose to sell it's the same thing um, you sell and then you choose either value or share amount and it's yeah simple as that uh, there is another mode on this app and that is called Pies and it is basically a separate portfolio that you can create. Uh, let's have a quick look at that. So we can choose a few companies that we might be interested in. So Amazon, Apple, let's go for Netflix and let's go Barclays just for the you know, setup purposes. As you can see here they're all split up into four different sections so you can actually alter, uh, alter these to different percentages if you like, so as long as it all adds up to 100%, as you can see up here on the top right hand corner, so we need to bring back down 10%. Just doing this for tutorial purposes, probably wouldn't set that up, really. Um, so next, and then you can choose to either auto invest or manually invest. So the purpose of this video, I'll just do auto invest. Next, and then you can kind of see where you'll be in 20, 30 years time, depending on how much you want to put in, etc. And it's quite exciting when you do this, because you can see you can get a quarter of a million pounds in 20 years if you, you know, upload, uh, deposit 200 pounds per month with an initial deposit of 600 pounds, as an example, obviously. I'm not saying you should do that. Um, yeah, so that's the pie mode. So on the menu here, we've got lots of different options. We've got managed funds, videos, history, etc. Uh, so let's just take a look at each one of those, shall we? Manage funds, so you can deposit or withdraw money. I've done both, haven't had a problem with either. Uh, you can move funds from different accounts. So if you are trading in uh, your invest account, you can move it to the ISA, tax free, etc. So further down the line we've got videos. So in here you can learn how to start, how to buy, how to invest. Hopefully I'll be doing that for you, but you can also look at them. Um, so further down here you've got 212 Hotlist, it just shows you what companies are popular, it takes you into a browser, we won't do that right now. The economic calendar is only useful for one thing really and that is just generally when IPOs come out, which is initial public offering when companies come into the market for the first time, that can be quite useful sometimes. Price alerts, they're quite important if you're looking to hit a certain point to exit or enter a trade. Um, I've got a few here lined up and obviously you can alter that just by cancelling them etc you can add them by going into the stock add your price alerts and um, we've also got history here so you can see what you've done in your history so practice orders you can do orders see what dividends you've you know, taken in but obviously I don't have dividends I don't have a dividend portfolio as of yet so moving further down the menu, we've got chat with us, help centre, all the kind of standard things. Um, we've also got use promo code, so if you did sign up not using my link, you can go in there and enter the code, which is down below in the description. Um, and then you'll get a free share, as well as obviously myself, which would be most appreciative. Um, if you obviously create an account and you want to get more free shares, you can then share your code, this would be mine. Um, you can share your code to your friends, your family, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for this video guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something for this app and don't forget to enter the link or well, click on the link and then you can get yourself a free share and uh, so can, we can all be happy. How about that? So just quickly before I leave, uh, I forgot to mention that in the next coming videos we will be going over stock types and uh, certain strategies that we can go through. Um, so obviously don't think that I've just shown you the app and you can go out into the open and do whatever you like. Because uh, no, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so remember to like and subscribe to this video. I've probably said it a few times because my editing is poor. But uh, yeah, thank you for hanging on this long. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. The good thing about this is I can I can edit, so it's fine. So we can talk. So.
I can use the audio from that, can't I? Fine. It's all part of the learning process.